Welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. So, um, in my last video, and I'll link it right over there, um, I was, I made a big, big mistake. I was an idiot. And I thought that these paints here were these paints here okay and it's kind of the way they advertise in a way because when I looked up um, deco art uh, like fluid art or pouring acrylics these both came up now it is very clear because that's my fault you know it does clearly say uh, this set right here you know fluid art ready to pour and that's really what I wanted to get and I thought that these were also that okay that was my mistake now these this is the only kit i could find this is uh, like the jungle set the jungle colors so that's a char uh, chartreuse what is that emerald green sky blue and deep turquoise okay so this set here um does have uh, and it clearly says you do not, you know, I read the directions, you do not need to add anything whatsoever. Now, these, quite frankly, even though it says pouring acrylics on it, I really think these are just the regular deco art paints that I have had in the past. And because I'm just reading the um, labels, it says nothing about pouring, okay, acrylics, but on the packaging it did okay so i think that what deco art is doing is kind of rebranding um whatever like their little sets here because they they know that people really are into like paint pouring right now okay so in the past of course i've used deco art in uh paintings before and i had to add a medium okay that's not a big deal but now they're set you know they're selling them in these like little sets and it says pouring acrylic so not all my fault but it is my fault because i didn't read the directions okay but anyway so they did recommend using their pouring medium and i happen to have um, actually, it's much less than I said I had like a half of a bottle, but this is plenty in here. Um, and that's not a bad pouring medium. I've used it many times, obviously. I didn't throw it away, you know. So, um, you know, some of them, like the apple barrel pouring medium, uh, quite a few months ago, I actually threw it away. I could not use it. It was garbage. But DecoArt is actually a pretty decent pouring medium. So, <clears throat> they do recommend a one to one ratio. So, that's what I did. And this is called the Molten Lava Set. And the colors are Poppy, Red Barn, Buff Beige, and Coffee Bean. So with the um, Molten Lava Set here, I am going to pour over the uh, bottom of the plastic uh, bottle, okay? And I'm going to pour over my last painting because, it, uh, like I said, I'll link the video. Um, I did not add pouring medium. I used these guys just straight, and that was my mistake because I didn't read the directions, okay? And I really don't like it. It's boring. I mean, like I said, the colors are pretty, but so for this one, I am going to do a um, pour over the bottom of the bottle, and then with these guys, they're gonna go straight out of the bottle, um, and I am going to do a little funnel pour with my little mini funnel, okay? Alright guys, so, and I'm probably just going to take another, either a 10 by 10 or 8 by 10 canvas to do that, okay? So let's get started, and I will be back in a minute.
so I am back. It is actually the next morning. Um, I couldn't finish the video last night, but that's all good. Anyway, so this is what I feel. Uh, first of all, I love this. Um, I think that the, the colors are absolutely gorgeous. The molten lava. I just love that. That is really, really beautiful. And then here is um, the ready to pour. So, I honestly like the regular deco art better. I'll be honest with you. This is just regular deco art with their own um, pouring medium. And I honestly like the consistency better than these. And I'm glad I actually did not get to buy a whole bunch of them because the consistency is way, 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 way too thin. And I would, I don't know, have to add it a thickening agent. So I don't know. Um, I mean, the colors are very pretty. Um, it's like kind of wispy around here. I mean, it's kind of nice, but I don't know. The, the paint is very thin. So I'm thinking that I, I could actually add this paint to, let's say, Primal Flow. You know, because Primal Flow does uh, behave very, very well with all the paints, other paints that I have. And there's never been a problem with mixing them. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. Because honestly, my Primal Flow paints are actually the perfect, to me, my opinion, you know, the perfect paint, uh, premix paint. Um, no, they don't create cells on their own. Most of them don't. But, like, if you add the Celtastic and they're pouring me, you do get cells. Um, this is just way too thin. And, yeah, so I think I'm going to add it to my Primal Flow. So I am going to, you know, uh, use these up. They're very pretty colors. But, you know, on their own, I'm not, that's my opinion. I'm not feeling them all that much. Hey, guys, sorry I got interrupted. Uh, my bell rang. And this is what came today. This is the folk art, and this is just white. Actually, really pretty packaging. And I'm gonna wait for the other ones. I think I ordered three more colors of the folk art, and that is pre-mixed pouring paint. So yeah. All right. So you know that's kind of like my feeling. This is way too thin. I really like the way this dried. Really nice and shiny. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with it. This stuff, not so much. Way too fluid. So, you know, that's my review of this stuff. I will be mixing it with other paints, uh, so not to waste it. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, uh, share it. Um, yeah, hit the notification bell. All my links are below. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.